I've been running some polls. YouTube actually voted for us to spend $50 this month on Upwork, and Instagram voted for 20 Now, I want to start with a $30 budget for 30 days, so $1 a day. In between both of them, I currently have $24 worth of Connect, so I guess we need to buy $6. And I'll have a new balance of 200 Connects, which that's good. Awesome. Now let's go over these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jobs and see if we want to spend any of those 200 connects right away. So this one, do I even need to say anything? Yeah. Job title, TikTok. Job description, trivia questions, world facts. At least it's only seven connects, which is like a dollar, but I wouldn't spend money to apply to this. Second job, 12 connects, so a little bit more. Reels on a weekly basis, one per week. Not too bad. Let's see, the reviews are a little bit hit or miss. This one's a potential one, though the not having a budget is kind of, I don't know. But let's keep this one open. Let's actually pin it so I don't miss out on it. I currently have a boost going on, which I didn't know, but probably didn't get the results so boost your profile what do i want to bid per click let's set the daily limit to let's be generous and take 10. let's set the end date to a month from now all right it's been a week i could make a joke oh it's been so long that my hair has changed color and it's now pink but I have an update for you. Let's go to Upwork. I've mostly just been sending a couple proposals each day. And I think we turned on the booth profile. I don't feel like that did anything. All the invites to submit a proposal that I got were crap. Last seven days, we sent four proposals. One was viewed, one was interviewed, and one got hired. Okay, so out of all 50 connects I spent, only one hired. I spent $7.50 to get hired. Books. I made $100-ish. I sent one proposal for 11 one proposal for 8 one for 17 I must have been crazy. One for 10 one for 9 one for 8 one for 11. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This, the eight and the nine were refund. They were funded half when I got the interview and the other half when I got hired. Week three, we're boosting proposals, which if you've seen some of my previous videos is not something I think really works that well. But for the sake of testing, I want to do that with you this week. So real quickly, let's go and look at the Connect history right here. For the last seven days, we spent 18 Connects in one proposal. As you can see, I've been kind of discouraged. We had the Connect renewal. We did get one billable click from the boosted profile. So that's cost us 33 and I don't think I got anything from it I didn't get an invite I didn't get anything so I'm not gonna do that again this week but we may want to boost some proposals all right I like the idea of this job let me just copy the name so I don't forget it and I'm going to apply for it just put general profile less than one month now let's see i just want to go 16. i hate boosting proposals but yeah all right so today marks the start of week four of this 30-day challenge and i've been boosting this past week i definitely feel like i've burned through a lot of connects i think i had a hundred ish last week uh, so the plan for today turn on the availability badge which i've been reluctant to do so let's quickly before we do that before we screw ourselves over 
let's look at our stats that by the way they used to be somewhere in here in these drop down menus and now you need to click on your profile picture and go to stats, stats and trends so that's fun i guess let's look at profile views so for the last seven days we have 20 last 30 days we have 146 let's see how that changes current price to enable the billion badge is 14 connect so two connects a day 30 cents could be worse let's turn it on and i'll catch up with you next week but to close out the video let you know how this week went and summarize the whole experience all right now the moment we've all been waiting for let's add everything up and see how much we spent and how much we got from it so basically i set out to spend thirty dollars in connects in 30 days and as you can see i am left with 20 connects eight of those 20 were actually from yesterday because i logged in and upwork showed me this and said oh if i watched a video all about upwork scams which i think is important anyway i would get a eight dollar bonus so that was nice that was nice of them for a change <laughs> and as you can see this is it right here so yeah i had some connects left over despite that mostly because of the availability badge it said i needed 14 connects but apparently it only took me seven not 14 but anyway let's add everything up and let's see what it's all about let's say proposals is one category boosted proposals boosted profile the availability badge turns out we spent a total of 231 connects and got refunded a total of 32. So if we take that out, 199 less connects in the end. We can see that over the last 30 days, I sent 14 proposals. And it's funny that this wasn't on purpose, but seven organic and seven boosted, so half and half. Four were viewed, actually three boosted proposals were viewed and only one organic. Two interviews, again, half and half, one of each, and only one hired, and that was an organic proposal. Boosting got me nowhere. So, moral of the story, boosting proposals only works if the proposal is awesome. So, unless your proposals are awesome, don't do it. And if your proposals are awesome, you're probably getting hired off of them anyway without boosting them. Also, don't boost your profile. I think that's a, a little bit of a scam. The availability badge as well. Other than that, I think it's more about the jobs you choose to apply to and how you choose to apply to them. It's not that much about how much you spend boosting shit. That being said, I'll have down below the link to my upper course. It's only $24 currently, so it's very cheap. Cheaper than what I spent this month on Upper Connects, which, ouch. And that course includes a shit ton of things about Upwork and freelancing in general, but most importantly, how you can find the best jobs and how you can submit the best proposals to those jobs. So go check it out, support me, support the channel. I will be very thankful for that. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully not spending a shit ton of money on Upwork. Bye-bye.